All right, now here is some exciting news for all those Samsung Galaxy S22 series owners out there. Samsung has just started rolling out the One UI 5.1 update for the S22 series. Here I've got the S22 Ultra. This is the Snapdragon variant I have here. And I'm really surprised to see this update. In mid-February, it's been just two weeks since the launch of Galaxy S23 series. Hats off to Samsung for releasing this update so quickly. As you can see here, the update size is slightly more than 2 GB. It's 2072.27 MB. It comes with the February security patch as well. The version number ends with CWAI. Understandably, the change log is not too long we have got a few new features added with this incremental update for the one ui here it says one ui 5.1 takes your phone to the next level with new gallery features as well as productivity and personalization enhancements we have got a few categories here under which we can see some new features or changes we have got camera and gallery quick change the color tone for selfies then we have Discover Expert Raw. The Expert Raw application features have been added into the camera app now. We have got more powerful search. You can now search your gallery for more than one person or subject at the same time. Then we have Enhanced Image Remastering. Create a shared family album, revamped information display. When you swipe up while viewing a picture or video in your gallery, you can see when and where the picture was taken. Then under multitasking, we have got uh, three new features. Easily minimize or switch to full screen. Access your most used applications in split screen. Improved multitasking in DeX. Then we have modes and routines. Change wallpapers based on your mode. Set a different wallpaper based on your current activity. Choose one wallpaper for work, one for exercising and more. More actions for routines. Then under weather, we have got quick access to useful information, hourly precipitation graph, summary on weather widget. So the weather widget has been enhanced with more information on offer. Then we have got Samsung internet, continue browsing on another device. Uh, if you're browsing the web on one Galaxy phone or tablet and later open the internet app on another Galaxy device, sign into the same Samsung account, a button will appear that lets you open the last web page you were viewing on the other device. Now this feature was already there uh, on the One UI 5.0. I'm not sure why it has been mentioned right here. Maybe this is now working with the Galaxy Books as well. Then we have got improved search and then additional changes we have. Check the battery level of your devices. The new battery widget lets you check the battery level of your devices right from the home screen. That's an all new battery widget that we are getting here. Then we've got use up to three emojis in AR emoji camera. Setting suggestions while signed into your Samsung account, suggestions will appear at the top. Then we have Spotify suggestions. Choose where to save screenshot and screen recordings. These are some additional changes. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download this update and install it. After I install it, I will play around with all these new features and let you know guys how they work, how good they are, whether it's a real upgrade or not. So stay tuned for the next video where I'm gonna get into detail on all these features. Now, if you're someone who would like to know your phone better, then this is the channel you should subscribe to. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button and give this video a like if you find this video useful. That's all I wanna share with you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers, bye-bye.